All right, so the core observation that we're gonna make that's gonna lead us to this very cool new sorting algorithm is the following. If I start with two arrays that I know are already sorted, I can merge them, combine them together into one larger array in an efficient way. So let's look at how to do this. I've got two arrays here, one on top, one on bottom, and I know they're already sorted, so that's important. I have to know that. Um, since they're already sorted, what I can do in order to merge them is simply perform the following steps. I examine the first two. So I look at the first value in the first array and the first value in the second array, and I pick the smaller. I pull that into uh, my new combined array, right? Um, do the same thing. So now I look at the next value in the first array, but I'm still looking at the first value in the second array. Which one's smaller? In this case, it's two, the value from the second array. So I pull that one into my merged array and I continue this process. So at any given point, I'm only looking at the first two values in the arrays that are left, right? I have to kind of keep track of where I am and we'll see how to implement this in a second. Um, but the idea is, assuming I know that these two arrays are already sorted and that's critical, right? Because let's start over here. If I didn't know that the arrays were sorted, then it's possible the smallest value could be anywhere. It could be at the end, it could be in the first array or the second array, but because I know they're already sorted, there's only, at any given point, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find the smallest value in both arrays, right? That's the next value to put into this merged array because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to merge them in ascending order. So I'm looking for the smallest value, but because the two arrays are already sorted, the smallest value has to be at the front of one of the two arrays. So I only have two values that I need to examine at any given point in time. Now, as we're going through this, you might be wondering, oh, okay, this, this looks like something that might be uh, O of N, and in fact, it is O of N. And so, and it's O of N in, in sort of the size of the two arrays combined. So if I have an array of size M, an array of size N, the merge is O of the sum of the two sizes. Um, you know, and I can merge arrays that aren't the same sizes and things like that, and regardless, the, uh, the runtime is, is a function only of the size of the merged array. Okay, so, so this is cool. So I have this primitive, right? And we're gonna talk about kind of how to use this. We'll implement this together, which will help us confirm that it is in fact O of N. And then what we'll do is we'll talk a little bit about how to actually turn this simple operation on two arrays into a full-fledged sorting algorithm.